Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In the last session we completed Morden's loyalty mission and did a bunch more of the scanning and side mission stuff. And today we are down to the final two loyalty missions. And one of these, which we need to do as well. Although you guys have been saying, which kind of makes sense, uh, that I should save like four side missions. I don't know if they'll even be four left because we've done a lot of them now. There's four systems left to scan. So if each of them has one, then, well, I mean, we've got this one as well. So if, if there's three that we can find still, then that'd be good. But apparently I should save four of these side missions until uh, post game because the final squad mate that we don't have yet, uh, like, you know how when we do a mission and come back to the ship, then people will have new things to say. Apparently, the final squad mate also has new things to say, but if you've already done all of the missions, uh, then you just won't be able to hear what they have to say. So, I should save. I should save four. I think was the number that I've been given, uh, so that I can I can have dialogue with the final squad mate. Which is kind of weird that that's how it's done. Like, I I, I said like, can't you just go back to the citadel and then come back to the ship and talk to them? But apparently not. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna save four side missions. However, for now, we have to decide between Tally or Gareth, our two Mass Effect One squad mates, our longtime friends. So, the penultimate loyalty mission is going to be Gareth. Gareth has learned the location of Sidonis, the mole who betrayed his team. He was last seen on the Citadel in the company of Fade, a forger who specializes in helping people disappear. Alrighty. Meet Fade in a warehouse near the Neon Markets on Zakira Ward. To the Citadel we go! Man, we're getting, we're getting very close to the end of the game now. Do, 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 do. 100%ed this joint. We love to see it. Refuel. And off we go to the Citadel. Boink. I will never get tired of this. <laughs> nice. So, obviously taking our boy Garrus. And obviously taking our girl Tully. There is no way we would take anyone else. And Garrus will be coming along on Tali's mission as well, obviously. Uh, right, so what am I saving for at the moment? I'm saving for Max Incendiaries, Okie Doke. Uh, need to save up for Energy Drain for you and Armor Piercing Ammo for you. Cool, cool. Uh, I've got Particle Beam back. Got all my stuff. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds a Gucci. Alright, so I believe it was to the left, right? The warehouse. We've been here pretty recently for the shopping episode. Which I think. Oh, I can't remember. Did I still have a couple of bits I wanted to buy? No, I think I bought everything here, right? Uh, I can't believe these humans. No fly lists? What did they turn this place into? I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Hmm. I don't think these guys were here before. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. Yeah, that's because we've of the fucking a potential Geth. risk for Geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Okay, well, why? <laughs> 
They're, they're making it sound like the new checks are in place because humans are running CSEC instead of because fucking Saren and the Geth infiltrated the Citadel and nearly fucking caused the end of the universe. <laughs> like, or end of the galaxy, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, that would have happened regardless of who was in charge. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Okay. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. Huh? False positives. All right. Well, we'll do that at some point, but that's not the focus of today. I wonder if that would count as one of the four missions to update final squad mate dialogue. I wonder. It's kind of weird that they're like we're we're literally right at the end of the game now pretty much and we still don't have the final squad mate. Like cuz if I if I like the fact that you can miss out on a bunch of dialogue by doing that kind of sucks. And uh like you're you're only going to have them for this looks like the place. The forger's thug should be inside. You're only going to have them for like a mission or something. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got Sup. Ah, oh, this is going to go well. This feels ambushy. No? Fate, you're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah. Uh, that's not the service we provide. <laughs> Make an exception. Just this one. Jesus. Damn it. Uh oh. Shoot them. Shoot them. Too slow. Why do I even bother? Uh. <laughs> shut up. And then we'd immediately ask him to tell us. So let's talk. <laughs> We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Dead, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Man, fucking sucks for his two Krogan bodyguards that he's like, no, I'm telling you nothing. And then he gets both of them killed by telling them to shoot. And then as soon as that happens, he's like, oh, I'll tell you everything. Like, two people literally just died because you didn't say that to begin with. Fuck's sake. What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? Do they use his services? To help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel. Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. Well, not really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Let's get going. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh. Good. <laughs> good. Fantastic. Oh my god. He took the bodies with him. Oh, nice to meet you again, Tali. <laughs> you vanished from that cutscene. Right, transport point. The he uh, there's one here, right? Yeah. Uh, was it factory district? 
said they're out of stock. Garrus and Tali. One sec, one sec, one sec. Who? I'm trying to remember. Apparently, I know Harkin. I feel like I've been confused. It probably explained it. And I just didn't. I mean, Gareth probably told us about it when, when he gave us the loyalty mission to begin with, but that was like a really long time ago. I'm trying to remember how. Harkin links with Sidonis, because it's Sidonis that is the one that betrayed him. Oh, it's just so long ago that we got given this mission. And apparently I know Harkin, but I can't remember that either. <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, this is the uh, this is the issue with recording and not like not playing it in a short span of time, like I'm sure most people would, and playing it over the course of a few months, is that I forget stuff, which I, I hopefully it'll be hopefully it'll be explained when we when we catch up with him. We've been spotted. No. Okay, let's uh, turn on uh wait, is our incendiary already on? Eh? The weapon is already using this ammo, but if I look at the weapon, it doesn't have the fire symbol on it. So it's not already using this ammo, because when it is, it has the fire symbol on it. What? And then I turn it off, and now- uh, okay. I turned it off, and it- uh, whatever. <laughs> it was just bugged. Uh, concussive, explosive, sounds good. Was just a strange bug. Six hundred credits in the bin? Uh oh. Can't get locked. Anything of note in here? No. Nope. Well, if we're doing mechs, then I guess overload would be better. Ooh, quite the explosion. I don't think I've missed anything. Going pretty smooth. Oh, hello. What have we got? Side, upside down T, upside down T, sideways T's. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. Sideways, upside down T, sideways T's. Oh shit. No, I misremembered where it was. Fuck. Well, hopefully that was just credits and not an upgrade. 
I'm sure it probably was. Whatever. I have enough credits. Eat this. Whoa, what the fuck? I just got knocked. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Hackerman. Big block of blue. Come on, big block of blue. There is literally no big block of blue. There's one. That's not it. Shit. Wait, shit. It added an extra one. Fuck. I'm not going to be able to do it. Come on. Big block of green. Anywhere. There we go. Well, I lost a bunch of credits, but whatever. Getting close. I need cover. Ahead of us. Perfect back overhead. Watch out. How mad? Oh shit. Oh shit! What? God damn it. I pressed charge like four times there and it just never went off. I probably would have still died anyway because Maybe my maybe my barrier was still on cooldown. Look out! I thought it had been long enough, maybe it wasn't. I probably would have died anyway, because I didn't realise there was gonna be a big boy mech there, but. Attacking target. Ah. That'll do. Ah. That'll do. Forging IDs, apparently. Okay, let's not fuck this one up. Upside down T, sideways, sideways. Good, good. Deliver forged IDs to Kalara. Oh, wait, is that... Is that who we were talking to before? It is. But I didn't talk to the CSEC customs officer, but it's ticked that part off. Hmm. I wonder if I can go back and still talk to him. Or whether that's just removed content for me. <laughs> Weird. So, Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. We seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. See that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. 
What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. Was Harkin the dickhead cop? I'm alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. Was Harkin the dickhead cop that got kicked from the force? You don't need him hurt to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Uh, I feel like Harkin's there's gonna be something worse. In a corner. He must have something in store for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? Wait. He's a real criminal now. Working what? for the blue... But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Huh. They, <laughs> I hate when they do that. They randomly change the position of dialogue options on the wheel sometimes. Because I always work from top left to bottom left. But for some reason they swapped these two after I clicked it. <laughs> you still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless. Unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves. But as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, you really think killing mm. Sedonis will make things right? I don't know, man. I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Do you, though? There's no other way. Maybe, but this is personal. All the more I'll reason to the not. And I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Don't turn to the dark side of the force, Garrus. Come on. Come on. Anywhere? There we go. We can use this. Ooh, sniper rifle damage. Hello. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Okay. Let's put you on the shot, Charlie. Although, actually, if there's going to be something big in here to fight, maybe yeah. not. Plus shields. Combat drone away. Power to the fire. Can't get a lock. Oh, right. I can't go up there. Wait. Is it lying to me again, or does it actually... Oh no, this one actually does have fire ammo. Come on, stick your head up. No? Did he die? I want to try dropping one of these crates. Wait, wasn't that supposed to explode? Yeah. Sorry about that, bud. Okie doke. If you just give me one second, my headset's beeping at me that it's about to die. Just gotta plug that in. Real quick. I should probably get a new headset because this one dies after like an hour now. Like I can only use it wirelessly for a very brief period of time. I have had it for like I'm not running from you, Shepherd. Seven years, maybe? <laughs> Something like that. Long, long time. Harkin's going to regret this. Maybe eight years. battery is just fucked in it now. Uh, right. Da -da -da. Looking for blue at the top. Of which there was a lot. Uh, then we're looking for you. And then we're looking for blue in the middle. Come on, blue in the middle. Come on, blue in the middle. There you are. There you are. Right, uh, 
can't jump down there. Where am I actually? Oh, I can get up over there. Hello. Hi. Shame. Oh, crap. Two heavy mechs incoming. Do you oh, really boy. Think you can take me down, Stuart? Nothing, Hostile engaged. <laughs> Holy fuck. Did you not get in cover? Okay, uh, how should we go about this? I mean, particle beam, I guess, is always the answer. Particle beam is the answer. Oh no! How will I possibly get past this challenge you've provided me with, man? Wow! I'm surprised that actually worked. Normally the game just refuses to let you charge up, like, Vertical areas. Hello, you little bitch. You were close, but not close enough. Ah. Ah. So, fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come oh, Harkin is fade, right. Me. That was where I was getting confused. I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <coughs> oh you know my else god. For business. A broken neck. Damn, Garrus. All right, all right. Get off me. Changed you, huh, Garrett? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. What's he looking at the bin for? Is there a gun in there or something? Are you about to make a move that's going to get you killed, yeah, mate? Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from c -Sec now. Come on, Garrus. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. Let's not be like... <laughs> okay. I didn't shoot him. <laughs> Come on, let's move. Sidonis better be there. 
or I'm coming back to finish the job. My dude. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. He will be. Just in jail rather than with a bullet. I'm getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? He's just not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. Oh, I feel I like it will. What his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sedonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. Words tend to solve a lot more problems I can than get people a clear give it credit for. There. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. What a cool fucking unfurling of the sniper. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Damn, is no one gonna spot him? Like, fucking just stood up there with All the right. sniper? There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Sup, dickhead. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Oh, shit. Move to the side or warn Sedonis. Hmm. If I move to the side, he's just going to kill him, right? I feel like we should try and stop him from killing him. So I'm going to warn him. Like, this isn't Garrus. We got through to him in the first game. Like, he was... He was leaning towards violence in Mass Effect 1 and we managed to like talk him out of it and show him a better way and he's gone back to it <laughs> you've regressed Garrus in your time on Omega but uh, maybe we can help him find the right path once again listen Sedonis I'm here to help you don't ever say that name aloud I'm a friend of Garrus he wants you dead but I'm hoping that's not necessary Garrus is this some kind of joke Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. <laughs> Look. Fuck. I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take Run? the shot, Shepard. He's a Run damn away? coward. Uh, I'm not letting you take the shot, Garrus. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Yeah, not gonna lie. It sounds Just like this guy's. Chance. Sounds like this guy's punishing himself enough. Honestly, you've got to let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. Yeah. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, 
They deserved better. They did. No one's Who disputing cares? that. I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Adonis. Don't waste it. Hooray! I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. Wonder how he'll make it up to us. Cool. That went better than expected. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You've got to go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Yeah, that's don't be too hard. <laughs> Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm basically Garrus's moral compass you. at this point. <laughs> He's like, let's do the evil thing. Well, not evil, but let's do the wrong thing. I'm like, nah, man, here's, here's the right way of doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I agree. Oh, good. <laughs> Garrus's traitor has been found and dealt with, leaving Garrus clear-headed for the mission. Operatives in CSEC will ensure no criminal charges are filed against him or Shepard. May be able to co-opt Harkin's criminal network. Oh, boy. Sending agents to investigate. Wonderful. Armor-piercing ammo for Garrus. New outfit for Garrus. Sniper damage. Credits. Damn, I missed a lot of credits. And uh, Iridium. That was a very low amount of credits compared to the thingy. Right, can I talk to this person about... Ah, oh, okay. We, we, we still can do this. So it didn't remove the content. I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk geth infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of CSEX undercover agents. Okay, but they're not get. I mean... Presumably they're on the list for a reason. So I, like... I Did you know. talk with them? Did they seem like geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Look, miss, I've fought hundreds of Geth. I can assure you that those two aren't Geth infiltrators. I don't think anyone's thinking the that they're secretly Geth kind of in disguise. Giveaway. I'm not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Next. Why on earth did you not do that when they came and talked to you? Why did you not flag it for review at that point? Well, let's go tell them the good news. Like, I, I feel like nobody was saying that they're Geth in disguise. I feel like they were saying they were helping them for some reason, but why? We haven't been given any information as to why. So? Right, I could give them the... I got the forged IDs in that mission, so I could do that, but I feel like... Just in case they are helping the Geth for some reason. Uh, we shouldn't give them the forged IDs. We should let them leave whilst they're under review so they still have their own names and everything. Good news. I convinced them to let you go. You what? How did you do that? I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. Few have. How unexpected. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Okay. I wonder if that will ever come up again. I wish I'd been given a bit more information. Like, they were like, we're, we're not going to tell you why they're on the list because classi it's classified. But like, I'm a Spectre, so just fucking tell me, you know? <laughs> it's really hard to make decisions like that when you're basing it off no information at all. Oh well. Right, back to the old Normandy. That was another pretty short one for old Garrus.
old Gary boy. Okie dokie, do I have new messages? Nope. Let's see if Joker has a one liner for us. Commander, what do you think about the people we're picking well, up? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no nope, need to go. That's it for now. See you, Commander. No, he does not. Joker is out of lines. Go get the upgrades. Snipper damage, 5,000 platinum. Very nice. No prototypes we need, are there? Don't think so. Hello, Mordola. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Okay. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Hmm. When they say, like, the Reapers added tech to their biology, like... I'm curious how that works, because, like, the Reapers are fucking enormous, they don't really have, you know, opposable thumbs. <laughs> Can't do, you know, small genetic modifications or, like, you know, little ops on people. So, well, I assume he means, like, they indoctrinated other people and then used them to perform these, like, technological whatevers on the Protheans? Because, like, the Reapers themselves cannot, like, interact with things in a normal way. Because they're, like, fucking huge ship-like things. They, they, yeah. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the collectors. <laughs> like Enjoy the fact they're trying to kill us? Saw necessity of attack on collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just commit it now. Won't let you down. Good. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. Hmm? But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution. Interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in Collector Base. Yeah, Culturally probably dead. not. Tools for Reapers. Worse than the Geth. <laughs> Wait, you sang? I'm sorry. I know that was important, but... You performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. Incredible. <laughs> uh, hello? Awkward fucking stare? <laughs> what is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? 
disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. Damn. He actually admits that it was their fault that they uplifted them in the first place. He wasn't so keen on admitting that the other time we spoke about it. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Ratnai. Short-sighted. Foolish. Damn, he's actually learning. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. And now but I dislike him again. <laughs> contact would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Huh. If a round during first contact would have argued against it? Wait, is he talking about the genophage or is he talking about uplifting them in the first place? I guess first... Hmm. First contact with the Krogan? So, I guess he's talking about uplifting them in the first place. But then the question that we asked him was about the genophage, not about uplifting them in the first place. Wait, let me hear that again. Feel that way, why did what you was the last before? bit? If a round during first contact would have argued against it, wasn't there then? Do what I can. Right. No. Okay. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage? Why? Okay. The question is specifically about Talk the genophage. Before. Best option: that or kill them all. If a round during first contact would have argued against it, wasn't there then? Do. So what he is I talking can. about the genophage. I'm just not sure about what they mean about first contact because, like, when they did that, they'd already known the Krogans for ages. Like the first contact bit makes me think he's talking about uplifting them in the first place, but the question is specifically not about the uplifting, it's specifically about the genophage part. I'm not sure what he's which one he's talking about there. But I mean, both work. <laughs> like, they shouldn't have been uplifted in the first place, he's correct, that didn't work, but they also shouldn't have been fucking genophage. So, I don't know, I don't know, maybe he's coming around, not sure. Did I? Yeah, I clicked all of those. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. I really do hope he comes good. Commander. Oh, there's nothing to Commander. talk about with you, is there? Good, Shepard. No. Red. Commander. Uh, right. Down to Garosimo. Anything new here? Not. Uh, pretty sure we ran out of dialogue with you, right? How are you? Perhaps we could speak yeah. later. Of course. Uh, who was this? Was this? Oh yeah. Hey, got a minute? This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security. But they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. Rip. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Okay, Miranda's out of stuff to say. We discovered that. Uh, Dr. Chakwas never has anything. But Garrus will finally have something to say! After fucking calibrating for the entire game. Hello, Garrus mod. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. Sure will. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. <laughs> There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm not sure there can be anything else worse than Reapers. They are literally coming to destroy every single species that exists. <laughs> like, just like harvest the entire galaxy and then fuck off again for another 50,000 years. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. 
It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Uh... Hmm. If I say this, will I still get to investigate? And if I investigate, will it overwrite this? You never know. <laughs> Sometimes saying this will remove the investigate option, and sometimes picking investigate options will remove the other options on the wheel here. I'm going to try this first. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind options. <laughs> hey, it didn't remove it. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. I can't imagine either. An unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Nah. Analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. We're good enough. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying fuck on that shit. Flight. Not when the galaxy is at stake. If it's a bad order, then fuck it. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your Alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight. They know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. Hmm. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but... She had flexibility. Oh my god, I mean, Gareth. Off stress, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That is Thanks fucking amazing. Time, I'll see you later. Sure thing. That is incredible. My dude. Right, uh, who's down the bottom? Jack doesn't have anything left to say. Tali won't have anything new to say until we do a mission. Uh... The other two don't have anything to say. So, uh, did we check mail? No. Cool. Well, time to clear out some of the rest of the scanning places. And then it will be Tali's turn. <laughs>